Hi, my name is Jeff Wirtz. I'm the pastor here at Faith Sugar Land, and this is Faith in a Few Minutes, so thanks for joining us. You know, around here, I often say, if you don't have grace, you are toast. Well, what do I mean by that? You know, 10 years ago, just south of here in the Gulf of Mexico, there was a big British petroleum oil tanker, and it began to leak oil. And we all saw it because it was on television everywhere. Five million barrels of oil. Polluted the ocean, the gulf, killed a lot of the sea life. We were sick about it. It cost them $68 billion by the time they paid the fines and cleaned it all up. Well, there's a bridge to that in our understanding with God. You see, if God in heaven were a big ocean, he wouldn't allow any pollution. And our reality is that we're all the oil tankers and we leak. And what we leak is selfishness and sin. I mean, we don't have to be rocket scientists to look around the world and see how selfish our world is. But even more, when I look in that mirror, I realize too, if I'm really honest, I got some of that leakage myself. And that's what the Bible says. It says, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And it's just pointing out that God's love is so perfect and he's holy and he doesn't allow pollution in his heaven. Well, that's where Jesus comes in. I say, if you don't have grace, you are toast. Well, that's why God became a human being. And when Jesus came, he didn't just come to do good things. He actually did two things that no other human could do. First one was he lived a perfect life and he never leaked. He never had any selfishness. He never had any sin. And the second one was, I mean, if we think $68 billion was a lot that British Petroleum had to pay, the price that human beings would have to pay to God is unpayable but Jesus paid that that's what the cross is all about that Jesus would actually take upon the penalty of sin of all mankind and he, he did it and then he rose from the dead to prove it was all true and it was accepted that's why I say if you don't have grace you are toast but because of Jesus he says just put your trust in me right and when we do that, it's a great deal. He takes our pollution, we take his perfection, and the payment is made. That's why when we do have grace, we never have to worry about being toast. Now, does that mean we we're, we're done leaking oil? No, the reality is we still have leaks, but the difference is this. And this is where faith and life really connect. The difference is, is that when I know that I'm loved and accepted, I have that grace no matter what, I'm willing to look at my leak and say, okay, God, how do we kind of patch that up? Now, here's my question for you. Have you received that grace? Have you put your faith in Christ? And if you have, what are you giving to other people? Are you giving them grace? Or do you look at them as though they're toast? You see, when I have grace, I don't want to look at other people as toast. They need that grace too. So, if you don't have grace, you're toast. But if you do have grace, you're never toast. No matter how tough things are, you know that God loves you in Christ. And so, that's faith in a few minutes. I hope that blesses you. If you'd like to know more, come see us at www.faithsugarland. Have a great week.